video. Um, definitely go check out last video if you haven't. Um, more videos to come. But uh, this video gonna be pretty much talking about, y'all seen the thumbnail, uh, why? Getting out your comfort zone, not why, but should you get out your comfort zone and why should you get out your comfort zone? Um, a lot of people get comfortable where they're at in life. If it's having a certain amount of money, um, if it's um, living mediocre, if you're rich, you get comfortably rich. If you're wealthy, you get comfortably wealthy. If you're poor, you're comfortable being at the bottom. <clears throat> so, this is a video, quick video, on how and why you should uh, get out your comfort zone, man. Um, if you used to, uh, if you used to being uh, less fortunate or not rich, practice uh, habits of ways you could get rich and put it in your everyday uh, tasks, man. I say practice it I mean say you not where you want to be financially or say you're where you want to be financially if you're not where you want to be start waking up on time start waking up way earlier than you normally should than you normally would and uh, that's giving you that good attitude that good mindset and start clocking in work early if your job lets you um, if your job would let you come in early, come in a couple hours early. Leave a couple hours late. Why not? I mean, if you slept in, if you slept in late, then you don't clock in late. You losing. Even if you lose 30 minutes, that 30 minutes is no longer an hour. You missing that whole pay. Wake up early get you some money and when I say get you some money that mean do some extra hours there's nothing wrong with doing extra hours there's nothing wrong with asking for extra hours um if you're already rich um you can't go down you can't go backwards so if you're already comfortable being rich try to get uncomfortable and try to become richer um if you're rich try to uh try to flip that money in a certain way and most rich people don't need advice far as how to make their money, how to flip their money. But if you're already comfortable being rich, you're comfortable being rich. If uh, hang around more rich people, get advice from other rich people, um, go to charity events, give back. There's a whole bunch of things that you could do just because you're rich. Um, There's a lot of things that people can do to get out their comfort zone um if you normally don't take the highway take the highway if you normally don't walk to certain places walk get your exercise in um not walk just because you're getting exercise but save gas like you ain't even thinking in the long run that <laughs> why would i walk if i got a car <laughs> and it's right around the corner when I could drive. Save yes, like I understand it's right around the corner and I understand it's nothing to put gas in your car to get you from A to B. But if it's close enough to walk, walk. It's another way to save some money. Um getting out your comfort zone. Doing getting out your comfort zone is pretty much doing things uh you don't want to do or doing things you wouldn't normally do. Uh like I said in my previous videos, man, if you if you smoke cigarettes, if you smoke marijuana, and if you do it consistently, like you're almost addicted to it, um, try to get out your comfort zone and and quit doing it, and uh, see how that works out, man. It takes getting out your comfort zone to uh, becoming better in life, man. Uh, if you if you don't want to uh, further your education. Try to further your education. Try going to school. Um, if you haven't graduated high school, try going to get your GED. If you haven't graduated college, try going back and finishing. Um, there's a lot of things you could do 
but uh, you have to get out your comfort zone. A lot of people are comfortable where they being at, and uh, it can it can be good if you if you like I said if you already rich, you comfortable being rich. Ain't nothing wrong with comfortably being rich, but it's definitely more ways to become richer. And what I'm just trying to say is, you have to get out your comfort zone. You have to get out your comfort zone if you wanna uh, if you wanna succeed. And uh, I never heard no one say they got to where they want to be because they were comfortable where they were at. I never heard nobody say that. I never uh, just watch watch videos, man. Watch different podcasters. I never heard a millionaire say they got where they were at because they were comfortable being where they was at. And I'm talking about comfortable being not rich nobody who's rich has been comfortable being not rich that's why they did what they had to do to become rich this video isn't even about becoming rich it's about getting out your comfort zone and you don't know it's a whole bunch of things you could accomplish when you get out your comfort zone when you start doing things you really don't want to do a lot of people say um, they don't want to work a nine to five job a lot of people say they don't want to work for the white man. A lot of people say they want to be their own boss. <laughs> like I hear this shit, I even say this to myself, but it's a process to doing that. It's not just going to happen because you got that mindset, it's not going to happen. You have to work for that shit. And you can't just say, I'm going to be my own boss or I'm not working. You can't just say that shit without putting no work in. You have to be uncomfortable in order to get where you want to be. You can't just speak that shit. I mean, you can speak it into existence, but you just can't speak it without putting no action in. And when I say action, I mean, you gotta get out there and go do some stuff you never thought you would do. And that's just simple as that, man. Um, if you wanna be your own boss, you have to do shit you never thought you would do to be where you wanna be. And you gotta grind, you gotta, you gotta invest money. You gotta save money. You gotta know how to save. You gotta know where to put your money. And I'm not talking about uh, in stocks and bonds and shit. I'm talking about you gotta know where to save your money. You gotta know where to put your money if you want to invest it. As far as flipping houses, as far as buying cars and fixing them up and selling them for more. Different things and schemes to make you more money. Flipping motorcycles, buying wrecked motorcycles, fixing them up. If you're a mechanic, if you know how to fix, if you're good with your hands, it's different things that can make you money, but it, it all takes getting out your comfort zone. And it's a lot of people out here with talent that they don't even know they got. <laughs> like, everybody has a talent. Every Everybody has a, a destiny on what they're supposed to be here for, a mission. Let's say a mission. Everybody has a mission on what they're put on this earth for. If you're still breathing air, if you're still functioning. <laughs> Everybody has a mission. Um, if you've been really in tune with my videos, if you know what your mission is, take advantage of it now. Don't don't wait. Don't wait five years. Don't wait ten years. Take advantage of whatever that calling is now, man. Why wait longer? I was speaking with one of my buddies a few days ago. Uh, from my, he called me on my birthday. Um, he was like, "Why wait?" And I agree, why wait when you could do it now? Why keep why keep delaying the process when you can handle it now? And it doesn't matter what situation you're in. If you got kids, if you don't got enough money, it's always a way. There's always a way to accomplish whatever you're trying to accomplish. If it's school, it's financial aid, if you make too much money, there's still a way. There's still a way. <laughs> Open. Uh, if you got a cell phone, which most of y'all do, if you're watching this video, you got a cell phone. There's different sources that you could find to help you get where you want to be. Um, and my thing is, people are quick to hop on their phone to find parties. People are quick on their phone to find the hottest bar, uh, find the, the nicest club and the fanciest restaurants. Hop on, hop on your phone to help you out in the long run, to help you out in the future, to help you financially. <laughs> don't just, don't just have your phone. Use your phone and use it to better you. Don't use it 
to to take money out your pocket because when you google in uh fancy restaurants and parties to go to and clubs to go to and nice clothes to buy and different shit to take money out your pocket yeah you're using your phone you're using google to help you get to where get something you want that's something you want but it's nothing you need and a lot of people get the wants and needs all mis misunderstood and confused if you start focusing more on the things you want and start focusing on the things you need and you separate them start only getting the things you need instead of the things you want things will fall into place uh and this nigga trying to erase me <laughs> but uh it's a lot of things that people people really should just start focusing on the things they need the necessities not the things they want because the things you want will really drain your pockets and the things you need could sometimes put money back in your pockets man if it's especially if it's an investment um like i'm saying man the point of this video is to uh help y'all in the long run i'm only 25 man people my age could be watching this video younger than me uh children could be watching this video or grown adults i don't care the age i don't care the race um you have to be in tune with these videos I'm posting because I'm not just posting nothing. I'm not just posting this for subscribers. I'm not posting this for likes. Like, I'm doing this for my for myself to help other people. And, and it feels good every time I post a video because I know my video touching at least one person. And I don't care on the views either. If it, say the video gets 10 views, that's 10 people to watch my video. And that's 10 people lives that I touched or I could have touched and I'm not tripping I'm not tripping on other views because the people that come across any of these videos that it'll touch them I'm, I'm positive it'll touch them and if you uh put some of this in your life that I'm speaking on uh, it'll definitely help you in the long run and have to get out your comfort zone at the end of the day man um, I've been trying to make my videos between 15 and 20 minutes and I've been doing that pretty damn well uh, I'm still dropping y'all y'all gotta excuse me but um I've been doing pretty well with putting these videos together uh, this video is pretty much getting out your comfort zone man you have to you have to do some things you never thought you would do to get some things you never thought you would have man and you have to invest in yourself and that's the moral of this that's the moral of this this story i'm telling you today man it's titled getting out your comfort zone or why you should get out your comfort zone i don't know what i'm gonna title it yet but the moral of the story you have to invest in yourself, man. And if you're investing in yourself, if you're really believing in yourself, you're going to accomplish exactly what you want to accomplish because you believe in yourself. And not only do you believe in yourself, but you know you're going to make it. And you you don't have no doubt in your mind. As long as there's no doubt in your mind, you're going to succeed, man, because you already have that positivity in your mind. You already got your mindset that you're going to make it. And as uh, long as you got that mindset, you're going to make it, then you set, man. Because a lot of people, now she want to call me back. A lot of people don't have uh, their mindset. And you have to have your mindset. You can't be taking advice from other people thinking they know your life. Only you know your life. And you have to know where you want to be in life, man. And it's it, you have to get out your comfort zone. You have to do things you never thought you would do. Look at them just sitting there. You have to do things you never thought you would do. And uh, you do things you never thought you would do, you'll get some shit <laughs> you never thought you would have, man. And that's cars, house, um, women, men. Getting out your comfort zone, man. And let me get a little more in depth with this. Females out there, you, 
you choose your man on what you're attracted to and what you like. But what I've really been seeing is if you find a guy that is really into you and you find a guy you really not into, it really lasts longer because y'all become y'all become y'all become to look like each other and love each other. Now I've seen a lot of people who attracted to each other last as well, but a lot of women are seeking for uh, what they what what they see. <laughs> Um, oh, he handsome. He look good. He fine as hell. Like, it's a lot of things that if if you, I ain't gonna say tweak, tweak your uh, what you like, but lower your standards a little bit. And you don't even have to lower them, but give more men chances. If a man is showing interest in you, you never know what this man will do for you. And I know I'm bearing off topic, but this is still getting out your comfort zone for the ladies that are watching this video. And I know I don't really speak a lot about, for ladies, I speak just uh, both sexes, both genders in, in general. And like life, life issues and different things to help you out in life. But this is getting out your comfort zone. And a lot of, I see that on a lot of women. A lot of women have their, their type. A lot of men have their type. Man, get out your comfort zone, man. Don't worry about what your homegirl gonna say. Don't worry about what your homeboy gonna say. Your mama, your daddy, they ain't gonna be the ones dating them. If this person treating you right, go for it. And I'll get in this topic on another video, but this is still getting out your comfort zone. But I wanna do a video on this. Uh, why, why you should date out your comfort zone. And uh, I'll do that in a few videos. I really, I really touch on every topic I can, man. And uh, if y'all comment down below a topic y'all want me to hit on, from my point of view, from my opinion, it's, I'm not no damn life god. I'm not nobody important. All I am is my own self, and I think I can give a, a good-ass opinion on pretty much anything in life if it comes down to anything. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you guys, um, I'm going to conclude this video. Hope y'all liked it. Go check my previous videos out if you haven't. Um, if you're new to this video, subscribe. And uh, I'll see y'all next video, man. I hope y'all enjoy these videos. I pretty much make these videos headed to work. Nothing more, nothing less. Like, I'm headed to work right now. And I just cut my camera on and start talking, man. And some of these videos touch y'all. Some of them, some other videos touch y'all. Some, some don't. Um, I don't edit none of these videos. It's all pure off the dome. It's a freestyle. It's nothing but a freestyle. But, um, yeah, man, I really enjoy making these videos. I know I'm touching a few people uh, mentally. And, yeah, man, I really enjoy making these videos. Y'all stay tuned for my next video. Comment down below, man, on a topic. I'm willing to do uh, any topic, anything y'all want me to touch on. But uh, I already got, like, in my notes on my phone the future topics I'm going to do. But uh, if y'all comment down below, I will definitely try to touch on your topic. But uh, yeah, you guys, until next video, I'll see y'all later. Peace.